Today, the Secretary of the Army visited Hampton Roads for the first time since being appointed for the role. Mark Esper toured Fort Eustis. 13 News Now reporter Mike Gooding was there and asked him about two tough topics. The number of deployments soldiers are going on and a recent rise in aviation crashes. It was President Trump's new Secretary of the Army making his second ever visit to Fort Eustis. The first came years ago when he was an active duty Army soldier. Today it was his first time as the Secretary. Former Army Ranger Mark Esper assumed the job as the nation's 23rd Army Secretary last November after having been appointed by President Trump and confirmed by the Senate 89 to 6. He visited the Fort Eustis Center for Aviation Excellence, and he talked about the recent rash of military aviation accidents, 12 in all this fiscal year, that have claimed the lives of 35 personnel. One accident is always too many, and we uh, it's tragic when you, uh, when you lose lives uh, in, in this type of uh, uh, work, but it, it is a dangerous profession nonetheless. So our leaders take great care to emphasize safety, to manage risk. Uh, we are always looking at how we can make the aircraft, the equipment more safe. And I think uh, we've, we've done a good job. The soldiers creed, the soldiers creed. Esper also discussed the pace of combat operations since 9-11 and the impact that repeated deployments have. And so while we like prefer to have a, 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 a dwell to deploy time, of uh, two to one, uh, what we find ourselves is deploying a lot more rapidly, so almost every 13, 14, 15 months. And that has enormous strain, uh, certainly on the family and the soldier, but it also affects readiness. Esper said there is a big effort in the upper echelons to figure out how to slow down the pace of deployments while at the same time maintaining lethality and readiness. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.